So I am a bit of a sim racer, and I've been playing Dirt Rally 2.0 for about a year, year and a half now, and I'm decent at it. I've won a few championships on like medium. I rank in like the top three or 400 in dailies. I, I am okay. So I figured why not do a challenge in Dirt Rally 2.0 in which I don't use a controller or a wheel. I just use my keyboard. So we're going to start off with a custom event. And I figured just to make it a little more difficult on us, why don't we use the snow track, which I've never driven on before. It's my first time driving with all the new DLC tracks. So it's just one stage and we're going to use the Legacy Subaru Impreza. A lot of horsepower. It's going to be more of a challenge than using like a Mark 1 Golf. Let's make this as difficult as we can. 7 kilometers. That's a fair distance. It's not too long, not too short. That's what my ex says. It's my first time driving the Legacy Subaru as well, so uh, this is going to be fun. Let's just start. I don't need a shakedown. I'm actually a bit nervous going into this. My first time doing a proper sim racing video and I'm using a keyboard. I am not setting myself up to look good here. And we're going. Okay, it's, it's not too bad so far. It's kind of hard to get my new controls. I'd love to be able to stay ahead of the class leader if you can. We're going into ditches already. The class leader is getting ahead of us a bit. If I can at least keep up with him during most of the track, I'll be happy. Oh man, he is, he is getting a good distance away from me. I think the difficulty for the championship is about medium, whatever the default is. Well, we haven't crashed yet, so that I'm happy with. That car sounds great, the exhaust and everything just sounds fantastic. I am 10 seconds behind almost. You know, so far I'm not doing too bad. I mean, I usually play with a controller. I don't have a wheel yet, but I plan to get a wheel. With the keyboard, it's okay. I mean, it's not very accurate. I'm finding it a little difficult to stay center on the road. All the assists are off. Time control. Why do I have time control braking on? But I have the transmission on automatic just so I don't have to worry about gears while I'm doing this. And we flipped over. We just went straight into the audience. Yeah, the car is destroyed now. Four second penalty and the class leader is far away from us. And I'm not listening to my co-driver, so I'm going the wrong way. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. Let me just be frank, I never really do this bad. Lucky it's just one event, because if it was two, then I wouldn't be able to go further. A 34 second difference. He is a whole section ahead of me. At least the car is still kind of holding up. The bumper looks a bit distorted. We flipped over again. So yeah, my first snow race isn't going super well. It is difficult. I feel like I'm really fighting with the controls. Because with the keyboard, I'm pressing down left and it's just all or nothing. It, it's like I have to feather the buttons constantly, but it's just not working out too well. Keep middle of a crash. Can't stay out of the ditch. I would not be surprised if I'm dead last for this event. Dead last. My hand is getting tired now too. It's like, it's almost like an endurance kind of, because I'm just constantly moving my fingers around. Opens six. I just ran over a Christmas tree. A family is not going to get that one. Oh, we almost did a bit of a drift. Almost. We did not do that well. He's banging on the steering wheel. He's so angry. One minute nine. I think that's the worst I've ever done, ever. Even my first race in this game was not that bad compared to this. That felt good, but let's check the times. That did not feel good. The car is destroyed. 19? Seriously? Oh, that's because the last guy got disqualified. <laughs> and in the stage notes, body damage and a broken headlight. I'm surprised we didn't have any gearbox whining, engine, nothing like that. Just a broken headline and a bit of damage. No shame. Look, we can't win them all. There's a little bit of shame and the car is not in the best condition. Okay, we're going to try one more. I want to try Wales because I really like Wales as a as a rally. And I want to try the BMW E30 for this, which is going to be at night. Do I want to race at night? Let's do at night with heavy rain. This is not going to turn out well. This is a stupid idea. And I am horrible at controlling the E30. So, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling overly confident, but we have to challenge ourselves. And if the last race was any indication, this is going to go probably worse. That rain is so heavy. Rest in peace to my bitrate. I'm sorry, BMW. I don't want to hurt you. Like, I really don't want to damage you. It's such a beautiful car. Man, I love that noise. Those headlights are definitely going to be falling off. Pray for me. Turn square left. We barely made the first corner. Two left of a crest. And handbrake turns in the rain are probably not the best idea. Stability is going to be an issue. The difficult thing about the keyboard is that I'm just pressing down on the accelerator. I can't, you know, like press it down halfway. It, it just doesn't work that way. It's like I shouldn't be going full whack with the keyboard. I just kind of have to. It's all or nothing. I'm really trying not to spin out. Try not to spin out is a huge challenge. Imagine if I was racing without my headlights. I think that's a good idea for another challenge video. Racing without headlights. Let me know if you want to see that and I'll do it because that sounds fun. Who knows, 
it might go better than this challenge video. Okay, we're 17 seconds behind, but we haven't crashed majorly. And the car is still generally in good condition. But man, it's just so difficult to get control over. Keep it steady, I'm happy with it. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast, does not relate to me in this situation. I'm going slow, and it's not very smooth. And we're about 25 seconds behind. <sighs> We spun out a little bit. I'm just glad it didn't crash. I love the exhaust on this car. It just sounds so authentic. It's amazing. Much better car noises than like Gran Turismo, let's say. Okay, we just destroyed someone's gate and we've gone off the track. Oops, our, our car is a bit dented in the front. Come on, I need to reset here. Can I get up over? We've kind of gotten up over. Our oh, car looks so sad now and defeated. I feel so bad for doing this to an E30 M3. And we've smacked into a tree. And we smacked into another tree. This is going horribly. Just as I expected it to. I'm one minute ten behind. Sam here, you're gonna break the car. We will not finish. Another four second penalty and we're only two legs up. This is going horribly. If my headlights break, this is just gonna be an extra challenge on top of itself. A jump? No, I can't do jumps. <laughs> See, I can't do them. Maybe doing it in the rain wasn't the best idea. Mind the nice digger truck. Mind the logs. Phil, I'm so glad to have you here with me, man. I'd be lost otherwise. Maybe I should be listening to Phil? Please turn. Please turn. It's like such an extra layer challenge. I, I really can't. I really can't. I'm not doing well with this at all. I imagine for most PC players that uh, use keyboard, it probably takes a lot of practice. And this is only my second race, but man, I'm just not doing well. Probably because I'm starting with cars with Group 3 and Group 5 and all that, instead of, you know, Mark 1s and Opals, <laughs> things like that. We are halfway done, and it feels like forever. Two minutes behind. I think that's the biggest difference I've ever had. I'm being honest, that, that that's the biggest one I've had. If this was a championship, I usually just restart or try in a lower difficulty to try and build myself up. I've just gone full force into it this time. That was kind of a nice turn, kinda. Uh, we've gone into a ditch. Fantastic. We're gonna be four minutes behind when I finish this. We're almost kinda there, just one more quarter. Oh, I've just crashed again. Oh, the front is in bits. I've only one headlight on the left. This BMW isn't gonna make it. I ruined a perfectly good M3. Can't even turn properly now at this stage. I just feel defeated. People in the comments are gonna have a field day on my attempt at driving here. I deserve to be called out. I'm almost three minutes behind. Come on, don't spin out again. Just stay stable. Stay stable. Even the spoiler in the back are looking a bit wonky. I think I'm doing slightly better in the third person camera, but it's, it's hard to judge. Into another ditch I went. Don't go into the grass. Keep off the grass. And I got an achievement for that. Are we still running? Is the car still going? It's still going. What a legend of a car. I can't believe we're still going. The door is gone now. I'll be happy if I finish at least. That's what my ex says too. Mind the cliff. Mind the cliff edge. I kind of did a handbrake turn there, but it didn't turn out too well. 3 minutes 20. We might get to 4 minutes, if we're lucky. The driver must be feeling so cold. The door is gone on the left and everything. I just went through all the safety barriers. I don't know where the road is. I'm lost now. Oh, it's back here, I think. Yeah, I think it's here. We're back on the road now. Just got lost for a second. I think I almost cut the course. This guy is never going to be invited back to any professional rally events. He's just destroyed this car. No one would want to hire him back. They wouldn't leave him on go-karts. I wouldn't let this guy bring me to the shop. Coming up to the end. Over finish. 3 minutes 38. I just crashed in here, man. How did the car feel in that stage? How did the car feel? How does it look? Oh man, 20. Three and a half minutes behind place number 19. First place was 7 minutes 21 and I was 11 minutes 04. Bit of a time difference. I had a 16 second penalty but overall yeah that went absolutely horribly. I got a bunch of achievements but that probably doesn't mean much. 20th. That car is in ruins. So yeah my first sim racing video and it's an absolute shambles. What a great way to start off. So, if you want to see more Dirt Rally 2 kind of challenge videos, let me know because uh, I kind of have to prove myself again because uh, we've driven so badly. But, what I would like to do is maybe for the next video try and do that no headlights challenge. Who knows, maybe it'll go better than this, maybe it'll go worse. But hey, stick around if you want to see more, like and subscribe, and uh, I swear I'll do better next time. I swear.